We should establish a couple of things. You are not a jock. No, in fact, I'm kind of what I call sometimes a well-proportioned wimp. <laughs> I, mean, I, I really am. I, I wear a size six, six dress, and most people think of me as being, you know, this sort of very big, strapping voluptuary. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm really kind of You're petite. A moderate. A petite voluptuary. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But um, I always uh, had a lot of difficulty doing the more athletic things to keep uh, there, in shape. There is an image, Raquel. I'm thinking. I guess it was from the uh, the BC movie. Uh, yes, One Million Years BC. One Million Years BC, which took place in One Million Years BC. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, isn't it? There's an indelible image of you in in that uh, mink bikini. Was it sort of loin cloth loin affair of a of a woman who was six foot eight and ready to tackle the world yeah indomitable, indomitable you know, yeah. woman whatever superwoman uh, all of these things what was fun broadway did turn my career around so remarkably in literally an opening night and the reviews that came out thereafter and I still feel the heat from it, and mm. I hope I never stop feeling the heat. Can you get heat. thrilled just, just? Yeah, the I can. I got to tell you, I got the standing ovation before I opened my mouth. As the curtain. When the curtain went up. Mm. So what they were saying to me was not just, "Okay, Raquel, show us." They were saying, "Hey, all those years that you thought that you know." Um, everything you did was mediocre and the rest of it. We, we kind of liked you, you know. It was okay. We, we, we kind of like you. Welcome. Now, your daughter is in the movie Cocoon. Yes, that's right. Tawny. Tawny Ma Welch. Major movie. Have you given her some good sound advice? Oh, I'd love to give her some good sound advice, but she won't take it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <clears throat> Tawny is a very special girl. She's, um, she's very bright and funny and gorgeous. And she's got a lot of wonderful chances now coming her way. I'm very proud of her. I wish her absolutely the best. Is it true that, that Zanuck said to you, <laughs> do you know what I'm, I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes. You say that. Well, Dick Zanuck, who I was under contract for years over at Fox, uh, non-exclusive, mind you, but anyway, called me one day um, about six months ago and said, uh, Raquel, since I spent all those years ruining your career, could I get now to work on your daughters? And I said, <laughs> hey, my blessing. I love no. it. Now, this, this <clears throat> uh, whole idea of the success that you have had, and, and yeah. personally and professionally, it has been so good for you. Does it frighten you at all? Do you think, boy, how long is this one going to last? What is this cycle? No, I love it. I want to be positive. I don't want to always see the downside. Just because it's up, it's going to be down tomorrow. Sunny day, rainy day. I mean, I know those things. But I think that you always have to ride on the flow of positive energy for as long as you can. Because there's no point looking down. Mm -hmm. It's like walking a tightrope. You look down, you fall.